morning everybody, Feverdini here, and welcome to a game called Sweet No Death, an adorable little game about friendship. Sweet, no death at all guys, no death at all. So let's go ahead and get into this. Warning, this game contains themes and description of the following, strong language, death, blood, gore, forced cannibalism. All puppy dogs and rainbows guys. Once upon a time, there was a small woodland Town. In a land where the grasses grow pink and the trees hold yellow leaves up to the sun as if to mirror her. In this town lived many animals who would spend their days frolicking along the grass and their evenings gazing up at the stars. Okay, sounds good so far. And one very fateful night, a star fell. A shooting star that had blazed its way across the galaxy it shone brighter than anything they've ever seen. It landed right beside their quaint forest town. And then something quite curious happened. From the remains of the comet emerged a magical star witch. Oh, the animals were curious, asking her all sorts of questions. Who are you? Where did you come from? I thought it was gonna go like take a much darker turn. Okay. She answered that she was a blessing from the stars, gifted with all kinds of magical power. She promised to use this power to make their lives as happy as can be. Then she killed them all! Is that how it goes? Using her magic, she turned a once pleasant community into an ever more delightful one, creating many friends in the process. Okay, I wasn't thinking that it was gonna go down this route, okay. And so, they all lived in magical harmony. And then do I bring the death? I, I would like that a little bit. Until, what happened? Nina came. Oh. Ah, good morning, world. Always a pleasure to wake up to you. Here's to a good day today. Now, what was I doing today? Oh wait, right, 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 right. Raj wanted to meet me down by the river for a picnic this morning. I should start heading over there after I do my garden work for today. Move using your arrow keys, space or enter to interact, press X to open the... Okay, we're good. Okay, so this is my life. This is who I am. I'm the magical star girl, you know, awesome. Your kitchen. You don't need anything from the cabinets right now. I mean, I don't think there's a reason to look around. Your kitchen. You don't need anything. Okay, gotcha. What about this huge bowl? Your... Oh, cauldron. Use it to whip up potions and other magical concoctions to help your animal friends with whatever ails them. You feel like you've been using it more than usual lately. Oh no, is there something going on in the forest? Oh, don't tell me. This basket was gifted from Ruby. Okay. These candles was a gift from Raj. Okay, Raj and Ruby. The Star Plus was gifted from Lamb Chops. Okay, Lamb Chop was the first person to give you a present after you arrived here. You remember him being a bit sheepish, presenting it to you. Is he a sheep? Is that why, like, his name is Lamb Chop? He's a sheep, is that his gimmick? He said that he hoped you would think. Think of him when you hold it. You do. Aww. Saw chair from sitting with guests. You invited people over, but they're usually the ones inviting you out, because I'm just so popular. Your bed, it is as soft as starlight. Awesome. So that's just who I am. I'm that girl, you know, that witch that helps everyone. I'm the friendly neighborhood witch. Oh, you grew in beautifully. Take a little water, a generous magic sprinkle. There you go. You should be good for the next few days. Oh, I wish that was my life. Goodness, how pretty you are. I could stare at you all day. But I'm a bit busy for that. A little magic for you. There you go. Okay, next one. Oh my, moon daisies aren't supposed to be this color. You aren't sick, are you? Here, I got you. A little magic for you. There you go. Feel better. I'll leave a little extra magic for you. <laughs> okay. So obsolete. You're gorgeous. A bit of magic for you, and that's all you need. <laughs> oh gosh, I haven't been spending too long on my flowers, have I? Let me get going. Okay. That's just my life, you know? I just put magic to solve my problems. That's literally what I do. And that's fine. I, I don't know why in these type of games, I'm always like looking around for like any type of extra secrets. What's that? Are you lamb chops? You look like you could be in lamb chops. Good morning, lamb chops. Oh, this is literally me. 
Hey, Stella. Bah. You like I got that bat voice, you know? Like Wooly. Bah. <laughs> Can I help you with anything? No, no. I just wanted to say good morning. Didn't feel right not to check on you. You are my friend after all. Is that so? Oh, aren't you the sweetest? <laughs> I feel like that voice is gonna get so tiring. Do you have any plans for today, Stella? You're always quite busy. I do. I'm actually on my way to meet Raj by the river right now. He invited me to a picnic. I think he wanted my approval for some of his cooking. Haha. Huh? Oh, right. I remember Raj telling me about this. I even gave him some candy earlier for the guys to share. <laughs> I'm gonna stop that. You did? That was very nice of you. Are you doing anything other than running the candy shop all day? Oh, I am. I feel like that doesn't... I feel like that doesn't fit him. You gotta... Or maybe, maybe we gotta... Oh, I am. Because he's like sheepish. I'm gonna go with the soft voice, you know? After the store closes for the night, I'll be heading over to Ruby's Bakery. We're gonna try workshopping a new pie recipe for the next group project. Haha, <laughs> I'd like to see Raj try besting us when it comes to the culinary arts. Oh, really? Gosh, that sounds like it'll be lovely and delicious. Would, um, I be able to help you guys, maybe? Oh, that's really not necessary. We'll be fine on our own, promise. Oh, well, if you say so. I ought to get going. I don't want to keep Raj waiting too long. Right. See you later, Stella. Have a great morning. Yes, you too. Okay, I mean, his, vo his voice is fixable. Like, he's given off that adorable vibes, you know? Oh. Ah, uh, Stella? There's no need for you to come back behind the counter. I can get you anything you need to help me from here. Oh. You got any dead bodies in there, Lamp Chop? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I, I still think Lamp Chop's adorable. Like, I don't think Lamp Chop will have that type of stuff. This is like a creepier game, though, so you never know. Looks can be very deceiving. Where else can we go? I think we're supposed to go that way to go to the other stuff, but I kind of want to wander around. Is this Ruby's Bakery over here? I think so. Hey, let's... Oh, you don't need to see Ruby in her bakery just yet. Dang it. I wanted to say hi to Ruby. Like, hey, Ruby. Oh, what about over here? I'm just gonna go everywhere except for where I actually have to go. That's how you play these type of games, guys. You never go to where they tell you to go. Oh, is that where I'm supposed to go? Oh, no. Oh, Acorn's house. You knock the door, but it appears they aren't home right now. Who's Acorn? I've never heard of an Acorn this entire time. What about you? Buck's house. You knock on the door, but it appears no one's home. The heck? Who are these people? The neighborhood stretches onward, but you don't need to go further than here. Gosh dang it. They keep blocking me from my destiny! Why? Okay, I'll go see Raj, I guess. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I was literally just rocking out to the music just now. I was just like, yeah, this is actually like a peaceful music. I should have said something. That's crazy. Dot, dot, dot. She's too stunned to speak, which makes sense. Um. No. We aren't doing this. This isn't that kind of story. What? What do you mean this is... What? What do you mean this isn't that type of story? Um. Oh, Raj. Where your head at? <laughs> where your head at, Raj? Is that it behind? Over here? Is that it? Oh, there you are. Collected Raj's head. There. That's all the blood done away with a quick spell. Now to put your head back on your neck. All right. Now we just... Okay. Oh, hello, Stella. <laughs> I need Stella's powers like right now. You made it just in time. Raj, are you okay? Yes, why? Feel like you feel fine? Nothing hurts you or anything? Um, I suppose I do have a bit of a headache. But that might just be from me t tripping onto the ground earlier. <laughs> she cleaned the blood even too! Oh my gosh! You tripped? That's all that happened? I know, I know. I'm not usually so clumsy. Which, uh, also brings us to the bad news. Bad news? What kind of bad news? See, when I tripped it was, uh... Kind of a nasty fall! <laughs> and because I was close to the river when it happened, well, uh, I kind of spilled all our food into the river. <laughs> just, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Raj, that isn't bad news at all. The important thing is that you're safe. And you don't remember you literally splitting your head open on the ground. I'm really sorry to ruin our morning plans like that. Goodness, if only I looked where I was going. Raj, really, it isn't a problem. But what about you? What are you going to do for breakfast now? I got plenty to eat at home. And speaking of home, why don't you head home too? You said you had a headache, right? You ought to lay down and rest. Maybe use some of that medicine I gave you to store at home. If you need more, just tell me and I'll make another batch. Oh, no worries, Stella. I think I've still got enough. You know best. And a nap does sound nice right now. But promise me we can do this again soon. I definitely won't drop anything next time. Or die. Probably. Oh my gosh. Is that the first sneak peek of, like, death and destruction in this game? I should look around a bit. Is there anyone else outside right now did anyone see that scene the gruesome gruesome scene okay that's crazy the, the first that, that was crazy not gonna lie <laughs> where am i supposed to go oh hi are you acorn hi oh my gosh hi stella hi acorn how's your day is it going well do you need help with anything are you bleeding perhaps dying a little bit actually my day could Probably be a bit better. <laughs> oh, why do you say that? Is it anything I can help with? Uh, maybe. I don't know. See, I needed some help watering some sunflowers in my yard. Oh, sunflowers are my favorites. Don't I know it. And I borrowed this watering can from Buck the other day, but... So, of course, I wanted to give it back to him now that I'm done using it, but, uh... He hasn't been answering his door all day. I, uh, actually haven't seen him anywhere all day, even though I went looking for him. He wasn't in any of his usual places, and no one I asked has seen him either. Really? Nobody at all? No. Well, maybe Lamb Chops has, but he didn't give me a straight answer. Probably locked in his basement behind that door he doesn't let anyone go to. How do you mean? I mean, he kind of seems to be in grumpy mood today. I stopped by earlier and asked him about Buck, but he was halfway into the back of his store. He said he didn't have time to help me look for him, or whatever, and that he was busy. I asked if I could at least see what he was so busy with back there, but he said it was super secret. No boys or girls allowed. What? I, rem I reminded him that I'm not either of those, so I can go look there. And he slammed the door in my face. Can you believe that? Well, that's not really nice at all. Oh, it's not too bad. I think he's just antsy, that's all. I'm sure he didn't even mean it. I'm probably just taking it the wrong way. I don't know what he's be getting so stressed over though. Life here is a dream, especially with you around. Well, if you think it's just stress, then... You know, speaking of Lamb Chop, I feel completely silly. Silly? Yes, I stopped by his store this morning. I completely forgot while I was in there that I wanted to pick up some candy myself. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think you should go see him again. If he's in grumpy mood, I think seeing you would cheer him up. You think so? What makes you think that? Because seeing you always cheers him up. He got a little crush on you. But also, I think you're his favorite out of everyone. I mean, I think we all kind of think you're the best, but... I think he always liked you best best, you know? Ever since that first day you got here. That's sweet. I won't waste any time then. I'll go see him. I hope you can find Buck in the meantime. You and me both. Like, I feel like I, I keep wishing death upon this game for some strange reason. I feel like maybe it was, it's all my time of playing a bunch of scary games or playing a bunch of those cute games gone wrong, gone dark. I have a, I have a sixth sense for this low key. But I guess we're gonna, like, let's just hope, I just really hope Lamb Chops is actually sweet and innocent, and it's actually Ruby. Ruby's the actual one. Hey. Oh, he got blood on his face. Oh, he totally got blood on his face. Never mind, just kidding. It's, it's Lamb Chop. Lamb Chop! Hi, I'm back. Oh my gosh, he's even more apparent up close. Hi again, Stella. Hi again, Lamb Chop. Did you just have lunch? It looks like you had some jam left on your face. It's blood. <laughs> he just admitted it. He just straight up admitted it. He just like, 
It's blood. <laughs> uh, excuse me? It's blood. Oh my gosh. His eyes. He got the crazy eyes. Well, do you, do you need help cleaning it off? No, I'm fine with it there. Are you sure? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's good. Oh gosh. Well, if you're going to make such a fuss about it. Why did he get so mad? Like, I was literally helping him out. Why was he getting so mad about that? What is it you came back here for? I just wanted to check on you, that's all. Ah, oh, you really care about me, don't you? Uh, well, Stella, as much as I love to see you, I ought to start pre preparing to close up shop. I have to make sure I've got everything I need for when I meet up with Ruby in a bit. But I'll see you tomorrow, won't I? Certainly. I just leave? Uh, you just leave? I better go check on her before he gets there. She must be in the bakery if she's waiting for him, right? I just left. I really just left. You can't worry about Lancha anymore. You have to go see about Ruby and her... I, I really just left. I really just said, okay, I'm gonna get the going. It has nothing to do with me. I'm out. Uh, okay, maybe she just thought he was hurt. Maybe, because, like, I think Stella sees the best in people. Ruby! I'm sorry for assisting you of murder, but I think Lamb Chop is after you! Stella, you never say my name right. It's Ruby. You gotta say it with a Roo. Like, a Roo. A Roo? A Roo! A Roo! A Roo! A Roo! <laughs> So, Ruby, there was actually something I wanted to ask you about. Lamb Chop is coming over tonight, right? To try out new recipes and stuff? Would you want me to stay and help? I know my way or two around a kitchen, you know? Oh, no. That's okay. I'm, uh, rather be surprised, yeah? Huh. Uh, that's right. I forgot you like, like, Lamb Chop. <laughs> oh, that's what's going on between them. <laughs> hey, that, that, that's, that's not true. It's not? So you don't care about having alone time with him after all? Uh, well, well, maybe, maybe a little. <laughs> I see, I see, I get it. Well, I don't want to intrude on you if you don't want me here for it. Just please stay safe, won't you? Of course, Stella. I always kept things safe in the kitchen, and I never forget my oven mitts. Right. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Stella. I'll make sure to save extra for you. It'll mean the world to me if you like what we came up with. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh gosh, Ruby's about to get an X to the face or something. I can come back here. Hi, Stella. Did you want anything before you go? I guess not. Oh, you have a back door too. Can I go in there? Just to, oh, you can't go in here without Ruby's permission. Ruby, do you have any skeletons? You know, I think Ruby's fine. Lamb Chop is the one acting sus. I don't know why he's at. Oh, wow. Sunset? It's getting late already. I suppose I better get home then. I mean, then again, I feel like anything Lamb Chop tries, I got magic. Like, I got enough magic power to literally, like, attach, reattach, and bring the death back to life. So, Lamb Chop, you can't try anything. Oh, he already closed up shop. Dot, dot, dot. What? Okay, just dot, dot, dot. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and head back home. Uh, I always feel like there's more stuff I should do. But I guess let's just head back home and go to sleep, I guess. Oh, man. It's bedtime, isn't it? Not yet! Wait, what can I do? Lamb Chop was the first person. Can I do anything else? Like, usually when they give you at least a decision. Oh, you don't really want to go back out tonight. It's been a long day. Oh, just kidding. I guess I have no reason but to go. Your kitchen, you don't need anything. Cauldron, um, concoctions. I don't know. I guess I don't really need anything. So let me just go back to sleep. Usually when they give you an option, you could do something. I heard there's like a second ending. So that's why I'm just trying to be cautious. Well, I'm all ready for bed. Aw. Are you worried? Gosh, what is he doing right now? I should... Uh, oh, Lamb Chop. I hope you're not being too rough on her. What do you mean? What do you mean? She's softer than the others. Uh, 
Can you see what's going on? Good morning! What? I should bring Ruby breakfast today. I'm sure she's hungry after working with Lamb Chop all night. Haha! <laughs> or did she mean like, don't be too, you know. Like, which type of are we talking about? Like, what type of rough are we talking about? Like, excuse me. <laughs> Anyways. Now, let's see here. A little of this, definitely this. Um, okay, yes, this should be more than enough. Don't worry, Ruby. If anything went wrong, I can fix it. Yeah, I literally got magical powers. I don't know how Lamb Chop is gonna... I think he's a murderer, but I don't know how he's gonna be able to defeat me. I'm OP. You have to make sure Ruby's okay before anything else. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like, I don't see this ending that bad, not gonna lie, because I legit have magical powers, like she said. I'm kind of... Uh, I don't think there's a reason to be scared. I'm OP. <gasps> Wait. Ruby, you too? Ruby. I was wondering if we could have breakfast. Uh, oh no, Ruby. S sorry, Stella. I'm not really hungry right now. Oh, Ruby. Can you bring me a pot, Ruby? Okay. Bring you a pot for what? Now, Ruby. While I'm preparing this, do you mind telling me what happened? Oh, I, d I didn't mean to. I, d I didn't want to do it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Ruby is a wolf. Did she eat lamb chops? Is it actually the other way around? I'm, I'm sorry. I, d I didn't. I shouldn't have... But, but, but I, I, hey, hey, calm down. It's okay, Ruby, you're safe, and I'm here to help you. Just tell me what happened if you can. <laughs> Last night? Oh, flashback. Now this, and this, perfect. Now, it'll be ready for when, dot, dot, dot. <gasps> Lamb Chop, you're here. <laughs> I've been so excited. What do you want to try making first? Oh, wait, you, you got to basket what did you bring you could use that for the first pie before it goes bad oh my gosh is that buck oh oh i think it might be buck buck has like an antler what 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 what, what? you don't mind that i brought a friend for dinner do you <sighs> eat it huh D did i stutter well i stuttered eat it what are you talking about you're a wolf, aren't you? Wolves eat meat. Eat it. You, you're, you're, can't be lamb chop. I, I, I don't know who you are, but I, I never eat one of my friends. I, I've never eat anyone. Come on. That's not true. Don't you think I don't notice the way you look at me, Ruby? Everyone thinks you have a crush on me. That's not true, is it? Gotta be a little demanding with this guy. I think you want to eat me. Though, I suppose that might as well be the same as a crush in the end. How are you meant to love something you don't want to destroy? Well, ooh, something's wrong with you. You're crazy. Ruby, shut it. Eat it before I make you eat it. What? Oh, look. <gasps> you made me get my hands dirty. Tastes good, doesn't it? I should hope so. It took a lot to get to this point. <laughs> oh no, this her <laughs> Just coughing and huffing. Oh, Ruby. You got such a beautiful smile. Can you fix that, Stella? I I didn't I didn't do it. I I promise. But but he dug his hand into the basket and and Ruby, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you for telling me such as much as you did. He he was right too, Stella. Huh? It it did look taste good. I I wouldn't worry about that, Ruby. Aw. Alright, Ruby, I'm all done. Allow let's wipe your face and drink this for me, okay? I promise you'll feel a lot better. Ugh, Stella, I don't I don't I don't feel so good. I feel like like I gotta oh, excuse me. Like, you gotta throw up? You gotta throw up Buck and so she can revive him? Blah! <laughs> huh? 
Wowee! I feel so much better. You were right. Oh, good. I'm so happy to hear that. Now, may I ask you again about last night? Just really quickly? Sure. Whatever, whatever you want to know. Oh, what you want to know? Well, uh, what happened last night? Oh, well, Lamb Chaw came over to bake pies for me. And... That's all I can remember, actually. I'll tell you what kind of recipe we tried out, but I honestly can't recall. It's kind of blurry almost. All I can think about is how excited I was when I saw him come through the door. Everything after that just isn't really coming to me. Am is Stella like actually like replacing their memories as well? Like forget all the bad stuff? I mean, I've been daydreaming the whole time. <laughs> oh, no worries. No worries at all. I'm just happy to see you smile about it. Though I do wonder, hmm. I'll see you later, Ruby. I need to check something. Okie dokie, feel free to pick up any sweet treats for yourself along the way. Oh my gosh. Are we gonna go to Lamb Chop and be like, hey Lamb Chop, stop messing up or just erase his memories? Can I actually pick one? No, I, can, I can't. Can I go in the bathroom and like check on Buck? You can't go here without permission, yeah. I guess Buck is just dead. Who cares about Buck, right? Stella does it. She's like, oh. What? Huh? Buck? What? Oh, Stella. Oh, Buck, I'm so happy to see you all right. Do you, um, this might be strange, but where did you come from? Oh, uh, you noticed, uh, I thought I could sneak out undetected. It's, uh, really weird. I, like, went to go help Lamb Chop with something, and I just woke up in Ruby's bathroom. Oh, so she already worked her magic in the spell. Okay, when she threw it up. I don't know how I got there. I just, I didn't want to spook her, so I thought I could just sneak out the back. But I guess you caught me anyways. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, uh, oh, Acorn's been looking for you. They wanted to return your watering can. Uh huh. Got it. I'll go look for them now. What the freak? Uh, he can't keep doing this. Keep doing this? So you're aware that he's been doing this? He, this is a lamb chop issue. This is an issue a lamb chop does occasionally. And you just been brush, brushing it un underneath the fence, you know? Is that what you've been doing? Lamb chop. Lamb chop. So she knew. That's why the blood didn't phase her. Lamb chop. We have, a we have to have a serious discussion, me and you. Oh, hi, Stella. I'm gonna be all fake in front of you. Good morning. <sighs> Is everything okay, Stella? You seem a little crumpy. <laughs> you know I saw everything you did, right? Oh, did ya? Did you like it? No, Lamb Chop, I didn't. And I fixed it. You. Did you think I couldn't? I fixed all of them, Lamb Chop. No one's dead, no one's injured, they don't even remember it. Again! <laughs> I fixed everything. Again! Oh, he's mad. Ugh. Stella, you freaking- Oh, you evil freaking bee! I hate you! Oh my gosh, he transformed so fast. So he's really just mad that we keep fixing- we keep, we keep, we keep basically like bringing people back to the death. He wants to die. He wants people to die. And we're just like, no. He's like a baby that we have to keep watching over. Look at this guy. Chopping it up back here. He's mad. He's so mad. Can I pick that up? Ew. I guess I can't come over to him. Let's talk. I see you decorated more since the last time. Mm-hmm. How nice of you to notice. What's the meat from? Huh. <sighs> Lamb Chomp, we need to talk about this. Your killing is actually getting out of control. <laughs> Such a casual discussion between them. <laughs> I should have eaten that bee myself. Maybe then we wouldn't be having this problem. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see you try to fix that. Lamb Chomp! Mm. Why do you keep doing this? Uh, because I want to. Why else? That's not an answer. Why does this feel like I'm talking to it? I'm literally talking to my child. Like they're being rebellious. I'm like, look. You can't be going out all night, you know? And they're like, who says? But in this case, it's literally, oh, you can't be killing people. Oh, why not? Like, what? <laughs> How isn't it? Because you're not telling me anything when you say that. Fine. I do it because it's fun. There, are you happy now? Do you think I'm stupid? 
that I'll accept you just want to do this stuff because it's fun? How could anyone get enjoyment out of this? Oh, freak off, Stella. You never understand it anyways. Get the freak out of my shop. Oh my gosh. The language on this one. No. What if I take the... Ill. Man. Can I keep talking to him? What are you still doing here? I thought I told you to freak off. Well, I don't want to leave just yet. Hmm. <laughs> That's just like you. It's always about you. What you want. The entire freaking gosh darn world is always about what you want. Oh, what I want? It's about what everyone wants. Everyone wants to live! Everyone gets to eat good, feel good, be happy. What more could you be asking for? What more do you want? I want you to drop dead. This isn't the lamb chop I met when I first came here. He would have never said this to me. No, it's not. He wouldn't have. But I like this one better. I guess you just have to deal with it, hero. What? You know what's funny? I never really thought much of Ruby. Or really, I thought of her as such wasted potential. A wolf with pointy claws and sharp teeth, yet indiscernible from any prey animal. You may as well have defamed her in the entire time you've been here. <sighs> but last night, something happened. I watched her gnash away at what I made out of Buck. And something about it. When I saw her like that, crying, her mouth just dripping with blood. Just, her teeth were all red. It felt like the way it was meant to be. And looking at it, it's like I was overcome with this urge. Suddenly, one I'd never felt towards her before. What? What is it? And that is? I wanted to kiss her. What? <laughs> what? You're into that type of stuff? Okay, did you kiss her? Hmm. <laughs> like I'm gonna tell you. It's more fun to watch you grapple with the idea. What the freak is up with this guy? What? Are you still wondering if I'll tell you? <laughs> <sighs> you know what, Stella? I'll tell you this. I've always wanted to kiss you a lot more. Oh, now your true feelings are coming out. Tell me more. I mean, come on. You look like an angel when you first got here. The way you spoke to us with nothing but comforting and you had this unbreakable charm to you. Was I not supposed to be drawn in by something like that? I was enraptured by you. Completely swept up in how absolutely above me you were. <sighs> and now, I think that's just it. You always saw yourself that way too, didn't you? Oh man, he hates me. When I think about how Ruby looked last night, it reminded me of you. I only wanted to kiss her because in that moment, she looked so beautiful and yet so real. And I realized that when you came here, it was like you were the first real thing to ever happen to me. And after all the time that's passed, I realized that even more true now. The way I am now, I feel like a person like more of a person than I've ever been before. I see everyone else the way you always have. How can you expect me to feel bad about what I did to Buck, to Raj, to anyone? Oh, so you did that to Raj too? Am I supposed to feel guilty about what I did to Ruby last night? She isn't a person, not yet. Not the way that you and I are. Wait, so who, why are you a person? Why am I a person? And who, like, I remember before even Acorn saying that she or they were not a person. What the heck? What, tell me more. But she could be. She could be, if you let her. But who am I kidding? You won't even let me. Tell me more. But Stella doesn't want to surround herself with people. She wants to surround herself with friends. Everyone here is your friend, right? That's what I'm to you, right? I'm your friend? That's so funny. I don't even recall you being mine. Excuse me? That's what she drew. That's when she drew the line right there. She was just letting him talk. But she was like, wait, 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 wait. No, no. I'm your friend. What you mean? Hmm. How could you say that I'm not your friend? Everything I do is for you. Oh, did that make you mad? You're actually cute when you're mad, Stella. Kind of proves my point, though, doesn't it? 
The second something isn't the way you want it to be, you get mad. Imagine how I feel repeating the daily cycle of living in a sugar-coated heck. If anything, you should be happy it took me so long to get to this point. But no, you want to be happy for me. No matter what. Because the stuff that's fun for me isn't the stuff that Stella likes to see. And anything that doesn't fit into Stella's idea in a comfortable and perfect world has got to go, right? Maybe I'll be happy for you if your idea of fun wasn't killing all of our friends and making them eat each other. Did you ever think about that? Of course I have. But then I thought about it some more. And do you really treat them that much better? You really have completely lost it, haven't you? Oh, you're so funny. How do you think I learned how to love from? What? If this is your idea of love, then I can't believe you're even comparing to me. I don't love like this. Oh, my stars. You can't even see it. You're delusional. Explain it to me then. How are our ideas of love possibly the same? All right then. Let's take a look at the way you love. You arrive here on a falling star, and the second you do, you take this entire town into your hands. Before anyone knows it, you're fixing all their problems. Problems they didn't even know they had. Problems they never even asked for help with. Suddenly, you're the center of their lives. Of everyone's lives. They're planning their days around you, doing things that they'll hope will make you happy in the end. They consume their mind just like you did mine. And so, when I think about it like that, it's really clear to me. You have no idea how to love anything without eating it. And now, I'm not sure if I can see love any other way. What the freak? I mean, he has a point, low-key, actually. You know, Stella, I think we should get married. <laughs> oh my gosh, how do we do this? Okay, let's do it. You and me. Husband and wife, what do you say? I, I'm, I'm into the crazy boyfriend, uh, apparently. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> We've already bound each other together in eternal misery. Might as well make it official. Maybe by the end of it, all we finally eat each other, and then neither of us will be winners. Lamb Chop, stop this already. Can't you understand I don't want you to be miserable? <laughs> Could have fooled me. You've been doing nothing but making me miserable for who knows how long now. I want you to be happy, Lamb Chop. Of course I want you to be happy. But I can't get behind this. I just, I don't get it. Everyone else is happy with the way things are, so why can't you be? What is any of this doing for you? <sighs> okay, now you're really starting to get on my nerves. You're not even listening to me, are you? I mean, <laughs> why would you? Of course you're not listening to me because I'm not saying what Stella wants to hear. You just want and want and want. It's all you've ever done from the moment you landed here. You just want what you want, and so you take it. With no regards for anyone here. Because what do we want? We want what we're supposed to want. And what we're supposed to want is to make Stella happy. And if something's not making Stella happy, then there's something wrong with the things we want. It's because Stella, beautiful, stupid, aggravating, celestial Stella, can never think about anything other than what she wants. And she can handle that for the first time since she got here. It isn't about what she wants. It's about what I want. Then what is it that you want? I want misery. <laughs> I, want, I want suffering. I want death. I want a freaking life. <laughs> Nothing has ever meant anything with you around. Not unless it was about you. We have picnics and it feels like nothing. We throw tea parties and festival, and there's nothing. I realized a certain part that when you smile at me, there was nothing behind those eyes. I have never been a person to you until all of this. I, we, all of us have always been accessories in your vision of perfection world where everyone needs you to feel like you're great. But now, now I'm somebody. I'm somebody and you hate it. I'm happy and I'm doing something that makes me happy makes me happy even when it doesn't make you happy and when you look at me now you're seeing someone and all i had to do was everything you hated isn't that funny and the funniest part is that i feel like i finally understand you because when i watch those freakers die i've never felt more alive because now i get it i finally see what you felt all this time control but i'm not supposed to that feeling Reserved for you, Stella, right? So she'll stop me at every turn, at every corner. 
And just like that, just like always, the story returns to being about Stella again. Ha, huh. saying it out loud, that's an odd sense of joy in knowing you're just as awful as me. Maybe even more, when we consider everything that's led us being here now. Maybe that's why I still like you after all of this. Your mind's more freaked up than anything I can come up with. Yeah, that's it. That's what I still love about you after everything. I can never get enough of how awful you are. I aspire to it. This is interesting. Because, like, I mean, I kind of see his point, like, everything's about Stella, but at the same time, Stella just wants people to be happy. Killing is bad, but in his mind, it's what's fun. But in Stella's mind, it's bad, so that means she erases it, his fun. So technically, that's bad for him. But I think killing is bad in general. So, like, I, I don't think we can use this as an example. I guess it's like if you're watching anime, you like anime, and Stella doesn't like anime. She thinks that's bad, that she thinks that's a waste of time. So she erases anime. So you don't, you can't watch it anymore. That, I think maybe that might be a better understanding than the killing part, but maybe, I don't know. I kind of see it from that point of view where it's like, you're not allowed to do something that I think is bad. From that point of view, I understand. But at the same time, killing? I can't get behind, I'm sorry. You know what sucks though? Even this isn't going to last forever. You'll keep fixing whatever I do, and you'll keep wishing that I'll stop. But you'll get used to it. And just like that, I'll stop being a person to you again. Before I know it, you'll be back to seeing me the way you see everyone else. Just another part of the story who repeats all of his old lines to you over and over and over again. Is, is that what's about to happen now? You know what sucks the- Oh my gosh! Yes, that's actually what's happening now. Oh, that's actually what's happening now. So he's just gonna keep saying, oh my gosh. We're literally in Stella's world. We're literally in Stella's world. I like that. I like that that's the last line they decided to do over and over again. Okay. Can I do anything about it? Ill. I don't think I can get to him. If I could just reach you. They said there's a good ending. I don't know how I would get to the good ending though. Anyways, let's just go. I guess I can't talk to him anymore. Do you want to leave now? Let's leave Land Shop alone, not yet. Like, is there anything else? I feel like every time they're like, you wanna go to sleep? Um, is there anything else I can do? I wanna help him. I wanna help him, but I don't understand. I don't know how I would help. Like in this situation, if I was Stella, I honestly don't know how it would help. Let's leave him alone. Huh, maybe there's still a way to make you happy too. I don't know how I would help, dot, dot, dot. He's right. He's been my friend ever since I got here, but am I really allowed to call myself his? Friends try to help make each other happy, even if recently that's not the case. Maybe it's because I haven't been keeping up my end of the friendship, so... Are you gonna kill people? Are you gonna allow him to kill? I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh my gosh! Stella's a true friend, you can't say she's not! All right, what are you trying to pull? I'm not trying to pull anything. Then, what's all this? <laughs> you don't expect me to believe any of these blood and guts are real, do you? Ha, <laughs> you're correct. It's all just magic and decoration. Why? I thought you hated this stuff. Oh, I do. I think this stuff looks awful. If it was up to me, I'll tear it all down right away. But you like it, and I'm your friend. I care about you and the things that make you happy. We live here together, and I don't want you to feel like you're nobody here. Huh. I'm also, uh, maybe hoping a bit that if you're happier, you'll stop killing everyone a little bit. Huh. Uh. Ha! <laughs> wow, Stella, you're a riot. You wanted this to make me stop? Seeing it makes me feel more motivated than ever. Gosh, if what I do leads to you to do all this, I need to up the ante. I gotta keep going. I need to do things that'll really stick. I need to do something so freaked, you have no idea how to fix it. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Come on, Lamb Chop. I'm doing all this because I wanted you to be happy. So do I. Even still. Wouldn't you be happier with things this way anyways? Excuse me? You like playing hero, don't you? How are you gonna do that when there's no villain? Oh, I'm the hero, he's the villain, I love it! It's like a little, uh, <laughs> like Perry the Platypus and Dr. Doofus first, you know? <laughs> They're friends, but the, I mean, they're low-key friends, low-key low key friends, but they're like, you know, hero and villain dynamic. I love it. 
I like the decoration, by the way. They remind me of you. Very pretty. Oh, thank you! Okay, off he goes. Nimchop! Hello? Is this a good ending? I'm happy that we're friends. Ugh. He's like, man, I'm off to kill someone. I know you are. Yeah, you're happy to be my friend. <laughs> oh no, you're happy to be friends in general. Interesting. Okay. The sheep said to the wish, witch, and they lived happily ever after. Awesome. Did they? I guess he went to kill someone else. I had to fix it. The end. Good job. Awesome. I loved it. It was amazing. Best story ever. The best story about friendship. I told you guys, this game is not evil. It's about friendship. <laughs> okay, thank you for playing. Woo! Did I get the good ending? Because they said there's two different endings. The right ending and the wrong ending. I don't know what I got. Okay, so I'm going to go back in and try real quick to like see if I can um, get the other ending. I'm guessing if I were to leave early before he was finished with his little spiel, maybe then that would have given me like the wrong ending because, you know... Um, I didn't listen to him until the end or anything like that. Maybe that's maybe that's the reason So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip forward and see if we can get to that part Okay, so basically if you leave before he's finished with his whole entire speech Like you just decide to leave right off the bat then she literally says like she can't help him She's like, but I'm not sure if you can be helped anymore. If that's the case, then What you're just gonna leave? I think that's what she's gonna do you're gonna go back to sleep, go back in your home, and what are you gonna do? I think this might be the wrong ending. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, Land Chop, I didn't want to have to do this, but you're giving me no choice. <gasps> you won't let me help you, so I'll have to do it on my own. What are you gonna do to him? Ah, uh, good morning, sunshine. What a beautiful day it is today. I should go check on Lamb Chop today. He might need a little help. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Let's see what she did to Lamb Chop. Did she replace him? Why, why he got black hair all of a sudden? Or is that how he originally looked? Oh, good morning, Stella. Good morning, Lamb Chop. Are you doing okay today? You seemed a little antsy. Haha, <laughs> aren't I always? It's alright, I just, uh... I gave myself a bit of a paper cup this morning. It started bleeding and it really icked me out, you know? I prefer to avoid blood. Where I can, haha. <laughs> I see. I know how you get with blood, haha. <laughs> well, you always know who to come to if you ever need a band-aid or someone to kiss the boo-boo better. Oh, of course. Thanks, Stella, you're the best. Thank you, Lamb Chop. I'm happy to hear you think so. Oh, wow, and I really just sat there and fixed him. Wrong and bad, bad black sheep. <laughs> Have you any wool? No, sir. No, sir. Not in that ending. Okay, so I did the right thing the first time. Oh my gosh. So like I said, guys, by the end of the day, this game is not about death. It's about friendship. 